Welcome to three examples on how to solve linear second order homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients. For these examples, the characteristic equation will have two distinct real roots. So let's begin with a review. A linear second order homogeneous differential equation must fit this form here, and then if the coefficients are not functions of x but constants, the differential equation would fit this form here, where a, b, and c are the constant coefficients. And we use the values of a, b, and c to form what's called the characteristic equation, which is this quadratic equation here, a r squared plus b r plus c equals zero. And then based upon the types of solutions or characteristic values to this equation, determines the form of the general solution. So for these examples, since the characteristic equation will have two distinct real roots, the general solution to the DE will be in this form here. So we'll solve the characteristic equation for R, and since we'll have two solutions, R sub one and R sub two, we'll simply perform substitution into this function here. Let's take a look at our first example. Again, notice the given differential equation fits this form here. So we can find the general solution using a characteristic equation. Notice A, the coefficient of y double prime equals one, B, the coefficient of y prime is negative one, and C equals negative six, the coefficient of y. So the characteristic equation would be r squared minus r minus six equals zero. And this is factorable. It'll factor into two binomial factors. We have r and r. We want the factors of negative six that add to negative one, which are negative three and positive two. So if this product is equal to zero, then either r minus three equals zero or r plus two equals zero. So here r can equal three or r can equal negative two. Let's let r sub one equal three and r sub two equal negative two. And again, because we have two distinct real roots or two distinct real characteristic values, we're using this form for the general solution. So now we'll substitute r sub one and r sub two to determine the general solution. So our general solution would be y of x equals c sub one, any constant, times e, raised to the power of r sub one times x, which would be three x, and then plus c sub two times e raised to the power of r sub two times x, which would be negative two x. This would be our general solution to the given differential equation. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, the first thing we should recognize is that this does fit the form of a linear second order homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients, but notice how there is no y term, and therefore c would be zero. Therefore, a would be equal to one, and b would be equal to negative four. So the characteristic equation given here would be r squared minus four r equals zero. And now we'll factor and solve to determine the solutions or the characteristic values. Remember, the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor which would be r, so we'll have r times the quantity r minus four equals zero. So either r equals zero or r minus four equals zero, so our second solution is r equals positive four. So again, we'll let r sub one equal zero and r sub two equal four and perform substitution into our function here to determine the general solution. So we'd have y of x, equals c sub one, any constant, times e raised to the power of zero times x, which would just be zero, plus c sub two, another constant, times e raised to the power of r sub two times x, which would be four x. Well, remember, e to the zero is equal to one. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as y of x equals c sub one plus c sub two times e raised to the power of four x. This would be our general solution. 
And while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. Notice in this case, the differential equation does fit the form given here, except now, notice how there's no y prime, and therefore b would be equal to zero. So for this differential equation, a equals nine, b equals zero, and c equals negative four. So the characteristic equation would be nine r squared minus four equals zero. And this factor is because we have a difference of squares. So we have two binomial factors. The factors of nine r squared would be three r and three r. The factors of four would be two and two. Remember, one's a sum and one's a difference. So let's go ahead and put the difference here and the sum here. So either three r minus two equals zero, or three r plus two equals zero. So here we add two and divide by three, so let's say r sub one equals two thirds. Here we would subtract two and divide by three, so let's let r sub two be equal to negative two thirds. And once again, we're gonna perform substitution for r sub one and r sub two into this form of a general solution. So y of x is equal to c sub one times e raise the power of r sub one times x, that would be two thirds times x, or two x divided by three, plus c sub two times e, raise the power of r sub two times x, which would be negative two x divided by three. So this would be our general solution to the given differential equation. And this will be the last example for this video, but just keep in mind that this is the form of the general solution only when the characteristic equation has two distinct real roots. We'll take a look at some more examples that address when we have two real equal roots as well as two complex roots. I hope you found these examples helpful.